Good news about AI and developer experience and productivity, Vercel has a new AI SDK and a pick of the week that will leave a smile on your face, unless you're just a grimace. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub. And this is the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. So I am wearing a shirt this week from some McDonald's streetwear collab that I talked about last year. Why I'm wearing this will make sense a little bit later. But uh, summer is just kicking off here in the United States, so things are a little bit slower on the news front, but we've still got tons of stuff to talk about. So first, I wanna give a mention that GitHub's redesigned navigation is enabled for all users as a public beta. And I've been using this new navigation for so long under staff shift that I forgot what the old navigation looked like, but I think these updates are really, really good and really useful. So. There's a new site-wide menu that contains links to frequently visited areas of the product, like issues, pull requests, and discussions, as well as links to your team's most used repositories. And the redesign navigation also integrates with code search and the command palette to find and jump to whatever you're looking for, whether it's a code snippet, an organization, or even another user. But some things haven't changed. If you click on Mona, the GitHub logo, that's gonna take you straight to the home dashboard and clicking on your avatar will open the user menu. You can get more details on how the new design works in the blog post that I've got linked down below in the show notes and description. And be sure to share your feedback with our teams as we continue to refine this experience. Speaking of experience, developer experience is becoming the buzzword du jour again. And a new survey that GitHub did uh, is looking at how AI is impacting the developer experience. So in a blog post by our own chief product officer, Inbal, she details the survey, which took place with 500 US-based developers at companies with 1,000 plus employees about how managers should consider developer productivity collaboration and AI coding tools. And here are some of the key findings, um, and I've got the whole report linked down below, but these findings are exciting. So 92% of US-based developers are already using AI coding tools, both in and outside of work. More than four out of five developers expect AI coding tools will make their team more collaborative. And finally, 70% say AI coding tools will offer them an advantage at work, and they cite better code quality, completion time, and resolving incidents as some of the top anticipated benefits. Now, there's a lot more to the report than just that. I seriously encourage everyone, whether you're an employee, an aspiring dev, or a manager, to read it. But I'm personally kind of shocked at how fast the uptick in AI tools adoption has been. So that's really great stuff. And speaking of AI stuff, Vercel has a new AI SDK that is designed to help you build AI-powered applications using React and Svelte. And so it works with popular large language models like OpenAI, Hugging Face, and Langshane, and it's open source. I really love seeing solutions like this um, because it's gonna bring the barrier to entry for building stuff using AI even lower. And I've got a link to their docs and GitHub repo in the show notes and the description. And now it's time for my GitHub project spotlight. And this is where I spotlight a community project of the week. And this time I'm talking about Power Delete Suite. And this is by user Job, who is a longtime Reddit user and mod. And this is a way to easily and securely delete your Reddit comment history and submissions. I don't know, you know, in case you kind of got tired of the shenanigans that Reddit is pulling with third party developers and you want to salt the earth on your way out. It's a great tool for uh, people who want to do that sort of thing, or just if you want to, I don't know, get rid of your account in a privacy secure full way. Um, so uh, I really appreciate Job's work on this over the years, and uh, it's come in handy for me personally this week. And now it's time for my pick of the week. All right, so someone at McDonald's loves me because not only did they make a Chicken McNugget that plays Tetris, that was a Chinese exclusive that I still bought anyway, but they just released an honest-to-God Game Boy Color game in the year of our Lord, 2023. This is, this is a real thing. If you go to the delightfully designed website, grimacesbirthday.com, you can play this platformer game. It's built by scene enthusiast Cruel Toys and Grumpy Function, AKA Tom Lockwood. And this is a legit Game Boy Color game. In fact, people have already found a way to get the code off of the website and put it in a ROM on the internet archive so that you can play this on your analog pocket, your favorite Game Boy emulator, or even a legit Game Boy Color using a ROM card. 
This is an amazing amount of work. Uh, I love it. And look, even if you don't want to play the game, please visit the website, grimacesbirthday.com, because it is peak 1990s aesthetic, and I love it. All right, that's gonna do it for me this week. Uh, please let me know your favorite Game Boy Color game in the comments down below, or your thoughts on anything else that we covered. And go ahead and subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. See you next time.